Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we have a senior of Ockentoschen here on my cask or our cask mm -hmm. and I had the 21 years old just a few days ago. I'm not quite sure in which sequence we published this whiskey. Probably this one is the first <laughs> and the 21 year old comes last. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I've never been to Orkentosh and I've driven past it 10 times already. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I should have been there. Uh, I think I was there when I was a teenager. But it's very, very central. It's uh, near Glasgow. Just when you drive out of town towards the Urkines Bridge, then you look on your right, there's a big green and behind that green is Orkentosh. But Orkentosh, it always says here, established 1823, but it actually was built in 1800 actually 1800 sharp under the name of Dunn and then in 1823 they officially licenses uh, registered it under the name of Ockentoschen and here is the bottle and the specialty of this bottle is uh, they uh, show the three stills they have so it's one of the very few lowland distilleries distilling with three stills mm -hmm. and uh, on the right hand side uh, from the 18 years old there is one cask shown and that means it's just from a single type of cask in this case uh, American expert casks and the 21 year old I had uh, had cherry casks as well so this one will be completely different in character mm -hmm. but the distillery character should be the same and here in front they they write citrus green tea and almonds mm -hmm. from fine berm oak casks mm -hmm. every single drop triple distilled and the triple distillation goes up to 80 percent abv 160 proof so the alcohol is very clean and most of the taste comes out of the casks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and it's uh, for an 18 year old it's actually not that expensive with uh, the mid 70s it's, no. it's okay yeah for an 18 year old and you have to say Ovintoshin made everything right because in former times they didn't have those old casks and now more and more of the old bottlings are out on the market so you're able to find a 21 year old you're able to get the 18 year old mm -hmm. and those uh well reasonable price whatever reasonable means <laughs> so it's 43 percent adv this one uh, so this is the classic strength for a little uh, more expensive or older uh, whiskey former times everything has 40 percent and those uh, better bottles had 43 and that was the time before everything changed to the unchill filtered and everything and they went up to 46 and above yeah fresh mm. fruity and green tea uh, smell and green tea yeah green tea mm, and a little bit of <laughs> tobacco tin yeah not smoky at all nothing caramel and a little spiciness in the back mm -hmm. so it's a a nice sweet one for me the the most prominent taste here is uh caramel and then you do have some almonds, which is strange because we don't even have any Oloroso in there. And a little bit of a aromatic, maybe that's the, the tobacco, what you said. And some fresh notes as well. So, so the tobacco is something fermented, I would say, fermented. Yeah, it's not a really smoky tobacco, mm -hmm. but... Uh, more of the the plant mm -hmm. or the yeah fermented or processed tobacco mm. yeah cheers cheers quite a different taste that's juicy and it's tangerine mandarin taste very very friendly lightly sweet and as soon as you swallow you get the oak a cake of oak so this is very very long and probably uh, also fresh oak american white oak 
which gives a, a distinct spiciness to the whiskey. Yeah, and then the almonds are here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And very, very faint in the back. Um, there's a little bit more of, of this oakiness residing all tannins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. In your mouth, it's really sweet, juicy, mandarin, some sweetness in there. Mm. But yes, as soon as you swallow, you get the oak. Mm. And the second sip is not as as strong and oaky as the first one, but you still get a little bit of a phenolic touch to it. Not in a peat smoky sense, but more of an um, oaky tannins medicinal sense but it might be uh, you're burning the cast from the inside and on the boundary um, layer there must be a, a mm -hmm. zone in it a gap in it uh, where the wood isn't burned completely and there mm -hmm. might uh, appear some phenols mm -hmm. so not fully oxidized cellulosis whatever i had some oxidation um the three three woods i think it was a 10 and the 16 or was it the 12th, the new 12th one? And uh, they were much, much more sweeter and much, much more fruitier. I think they all had more um, sherry casks in it. This one is a, just a bourbon cask, American oak. And uh, it's it's heavier. I would have expected it much lighter, much sweeter, mm -hmm. I, much I had, easier. as I said, the 21 year old and it was a lot more sherry in or sherry influence at all. This has no sherry casks, much more a smoother, fruitier, dark fruitier, so it was more settled. This one is vibrant, active, oaky, spicy, mm -hmm. just going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But still, very nice uh, bottle. And for an 18 year old, it's not overly expensive. Yeah, in look, these days. In these days. <laughs> Uh, if you look at the other big brands, an 18-year-old costs way above 100 now. Mm -hmm. This one is around 72-ish euros, should be then $80 or something like that. And that is quite quite a good price for an 18-year-old mm -hmm. uh, whiskey nowadays. Yeah, so that was it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please feel free to share it with your friends. And see you next time.